Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. And so you have probably heard of Visual Studio 22 coming out this year and you might be thinking whether or not to upgrade. Well, the answer to that question is yeah, you should upgrade. But in here, I'm just going to go into some of the features that I like the most about it. First thing is the big change from 32-bit to 64-bit, which no longer limits Visual Studio to be four gigabytes of RAM. So now it can take all the RAM and Chrome and them will fight for it to see who gets the most RAM of your computer. But other than that, like let's go into some of the features I like. Uh, right now I'm running the Preview 4 that just came out. I'm gonna be using the .NET MAUI application that I was using in my previous video to show some of the features. And so I'm just gonna start it. And first of all, the performance, as you saw, it, it went way faster. But then there, there's other stuff that we can change. So one of my favorite ones is how to reload. So you can change something in the text. So let's go to the counter page. And here you can see like counter whatever, and I can change this to hi, click save click the hot reload button and when I change it it'll, it'll change to high. The other thing you can do is conditional breakpoints. So you can set up a breakpoint and make it a conditional breakpoint. So say only stop if current count is larger than four. So if you're in a for loop or something instead of having to like stop every time and just click through it until you get to the number you want you can just set it the condition you want and you saw it didn't stop and now it stops because it's larger than five and it can continue. The other one you can do is also remove the breakpoint once hit. So this saves you from having to go and clean up the endpoints each each time that you you are done with it. If you're just going if you just want to stop once to check something, you can set that one up. And as you saw it had the little clock and now it disappeared on its own. So you don't have to go back and clean it up. And the last thing is same like with the hot reload, you it's not only for UI, you can also change the actual logic. So if I change this current count to minus minus and I save it, click the hot reload and go back, now it's decreasing. So those are the top features that I like about Visual Studio 22. Let me know down in the comments which ones you like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.